Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the bill for consideration of, of Parliament is the Julian Alfred D. Bill. Mr. Speaker, the purpose of the bill is to make provision for a Julian Alfred D. Mr. Speaker, in, in the 2024 Olympics, Julian Alfred made St. Lucia, the region, and the world proud by winning a gold and a silver medal. She followed with winning a gold and a silver medal at the World Games in Europe. Mr. Speaker, this achievement was an inspiration for St. Lucia, for CARICOM, and for the entire small island development states. Mr. Speaker, the government of St. Lucia and the people of St. Lucia are very proud. We feel elated that a young lady from St. Lucia, from Cicero to be exact, could, could, raise, could rise and become a superstar to run 100 meters in 10.77 seconds, Mr. Speaker, is really a remarkable, 10.72 seconds is a remarkable feat, Mr. Speaker. And if you, if you envisage it, Mr. Speaker, and you go counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 100 meters, Mr. Speaker. If you just think about it, you, you, you realize what it takes, what kind of human being it takes to be able to achieve that, be able to achieve it, Mr. Speaker. We are very proud, and we hope that Julian Alfred serves as an inspiration to all the young people of St. Lucia in particular, and of CARICOM and the world, Mr. Speaker. The inspiration that shows that if discipline, if commitment, Mr. Speaker, you can achieve the highest heights. In this regard, Mr. Speaker, the government of St. Lucia and the people of St. Lucia prepare, are preparing to welcome Julian Alfred on the 24th of September. And I want to invite all St. Lucians to, in some way or the other, find some time to join the motorcade or find some time to show some symbol of appreciation for the work of this remarkable young lady, Mr. Speaker. In this regard, a committee has been formed which is co-chaired by the Minister for Sports and the Minister for Tourism, Mr. Speaker, to plan a series of activities from the, from the day she arrives on the 24th till the Friday. And very shortly, the co-chairs will be announcing what this, how we will celebrate the arrival of Miss Alfred. And I will announce how St. Lucia will show its gratitude towards this outstanding young lady. But, but Mr. Speaker, we this cabinet has decided that we should have a Julian Alfred Day on the 27th of September 2024. So the 27th of September 2024 will be called the Julian Alfred Day. And it's a public holiday, Mr. Speaker, and the public holiday means it has to be, it's declared as a public holiday, and that means it has to be observed by the banks. The banks have to observe the 27th of July as a public holiday, and that in, is in Clause 5 of the bill. It has to be observed by public offices, Mr. Speaker, in Clause 6 of the bill. The public holiday has to be observed by public offices, Mr. Speaker. And Clause 7 of the bill, it allows us to appoint another day, Mr. Speaker, in place of September the 27th in a subsequent year as a public holiday to be celebrated, Mr. Speaker, 
as a day of excellence. And I will be calling for an amendment if members will be kind enough to allow me to move for an amendment in that committee stage to amend section 7 of the bill, Mr. Speaker. So it would read, appointment of another day in subsequent years. And the clause would read, cabinet may by order published in the Gazette, in relation to any subsequent year, appoint any day to be a day of national excellence. Declare that day as a public holiday. Because we may have another athlete that will win a, a, a gold medal. We, so we need to be able to get the flexibility. So we, that is why we have been calling for an, any day, the day as a day of excellence. But the 27th of September 2024 will always be known as the Julian Alfred Day. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, we hope that we get the support for this, for this, this bill because we think there are certain things that all of us should agree upon. There are really certain things that all of us should, be ag should be ag agree upon, Mr. Speaker. And the arrival of Julian Alfred is going to be a national celebration. Uh, the week, the day is going to be a day of celebration, a day of recognition, a day of excellence, a day when we can aspire to be the best, with the inspiration that she will create for the young people of St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker, particularly now. Because we tend always, Mr. Speaker, to think that our young people do not produce, they do not achieve. But it's only a few, a small minority, a minority of our young people, Mr. Speaker. But generally, all of, most of our young people want to be like Julian, Alf Julian Alfred. Most of, of our young people want to excel. But Julian Alfred has shown by example that she can excel and reach the highest heights. So, Mr. Speaker, I hope that we get a support to make the 27th of September the Julian Alfred Day a public holiday. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.